Well, social networking is a pretty new phenomenon. We're not uh, deep experts in it. We've been doing it for about a year, uh, but we're finding it to be really useful with our businesses, particularly businesses uh, that depend on a relationship with their customer. Uh, if your business is transactional, like a hardware store, I, I give you a dollar and you give me a bolt, that's, we don't really much care about each other. But some businesses, uh, the customer relation is really important. Um, I can think of uh, three or four businesses offhand that uh, we have set up uh, social media uh, campaigns for them. Uh, we have a woman who's called the Chocolate Therapist and she goes all over the country um, talking about the benefits of dark chocolate and so the people who follow her are very interested. We have another woman who uh, makes uh, small uh, charms and she's known nationwide. She's actually been on uh, Good Morning uh, uh, America and uh, covered by the Wall Street Journal and uh, people that buy from her want to know what she's thinking, what she's designing and so she's using Twitter to put tweets out to them. I'm going to um, a market in New York City. I'm looking at these. These are new ideas. What do you think? Uh, we have another business called Sweet Beginnings and it's about uh, a woman who uh, uh, works with new moms and breastfeeding and all those issues and so that's a very very tight community and so uh, not only does she uh, get a chance to communicate with them through both uh, Twitter and Facebook but they get a chance to communicate with each other they become uh, somewhat of a community. But let me give you another example about social media. Uh, there is a company in town, in fact I just talked about them at the conference uh, called Novus Biologicals and uh, they were uh, very interested in uh, making contacts with uh, people who do research on proteins. Novus Biological sells something called monoclonal antibodies, but is essentially a, uh, a protein that is being researched on the lab. So uh, we developed an entire campaign for them uh, where we identified the key people that were in that world. We used another tool called uh, Maltigo, which helps you map social networks. And then once we were able to find those people, we went out to see if they had Twitter accounts and then when we uh, found the ones that had Twitter accounts we uh, helped our company start following them and then uh, as Twitter works they followed them back that opened up a conversation about what do you do and as it turns out they sell monoclonal antibodies and the university research people uh, do research on that and so uh, they were able to do uh, uh, sales without having to do the standard cold call, try to get through the secretary, send a brochure, hope they read it. Instead, you've got this back channel of information going on on Twitter, uh, tweets flying back and forth, and uh, they were able to establish personal relationships and uh, are starting to make sales off of that. Um, I have my own uh, social media accounts. I have a Twitter account. I have a Facebook account. On Twitter, I'm known as EG Man for economic gardening. Uh, but if you would just put in a search for Chris Gibbons, uh, it will bring you to me and uh, you can follow uh, my post. I made a number of posts from this conference. I probably posted maybe 15 times or so about what was going on in the conference. And I tend to post about uh, either resources that I find or people that I've met or books that I've read, kinds of things where people can go and learn on their own. Um, have a Facebook account. Uh, it's just under Chris Gibbons and uh, I'm happy to be uh, friends with uh, whoever's out there.